Vacuum bombs, also known as thermobaric weapons or fuel-air explosives, are powerful and destructive weapons that cause widespread devastation. Unlike conventional explosives, which rely on a single detonation, thermobaric weapons utilize a two-stage process. Fuel dispersal. The first stage involves dispersing a fine mist of fuel, often consisting of a volatile liquid or powdered metal, into the air. This creates a flammable cloud that can spread over a large area and penetrate enclosed spaces. Fuel detonation. After a short delay, a second charge ignites the fuel cloud, causing a massive explosion. This explosion is much more powerful than a conventional explosion of the same size due to the large amount of fuel involved. The effects of a thermobaric weapon are devastating. High pressure blast wave. The explosion creates a powerful blast wave that can travel long distances and cause significant damage to buildings, infrastructure, and vehicles. High temperatures. The explosion also generates intense heat, which can cause burns, ignite fires, and melt metal. Oxygen depletion. The fuel air explosion consumes a significant amount of oxygen, creating a partial vacuum in the surrounding area. This can lead to suffocation for anyone caught within the blast radius. Concerns about thermobaric weapons. Indiscriminate nature. Thermobaric weapons can cause widespread damage over a large area, making it difficult to target them precisely and potentially harming civilians and non-combatants. Humanitarian impact. The use of thermobaric weapons can cause severe injuries and death, raising ethical and humanitarian concerns. International law. The use of thermobaric weapons is not explicitly prohibited by international law, but their indiscriminate nature raises questions about their legality under certain circumstances. Examples of thermobaric weapon use Chechnya Russia used thermobaric weapons during the first Chechen war in the 1990s. Afghanistan The United States used thermobaric weapons in Afghanistan in 2007 to clear out caves and tunnels used by militants. Syria the Syrian government and its Russian allies have been accused of using thermobaric weapons during the Syrian civil war. Ukraine. Russia has been accused of using thermobaric weapons during its invasion of Ukraine in 2022. The use of thermobaric weapons raises significant ethical and legal concerns. Their devastating power and indiscriminate nature make them dangerous weapons that can cause widespread suffering. It is important to raise awareness about these weapons and to advocate for international regulations to restrict their use.